Okay, so I had a great question last night. Uh, one of my new website members was asking about over swinging, and he was telling him that a lot of his telling me that a lot of his friends comment that he has kind of a John Daly esque swing, you know. Um, and he's been trying to stop this for years. He's been trying to stop this over swinging problem he's had for years. And he said, "Well, the square to square swing helped me." And I was like, "Well, it's not something that I actually set out to do to stop players from over swinging, but it's kind of more a byproduct of what the square to square swing does." So. We think about a normal swing or traditional swing where we're hinging our wrists up and we're opening the club face on the back swing. If we just take a turn to the top, we can see that that club gets past parallel pretty easily. So if I hinge my wrist, open the face, I've got the club past parallel. And it's hard to get that to be any shorter if we're trying to make a full turn. And most players, what you'll see, it'll look like they've made a full swing, but they haven't really even turned their shoulders. They're kind of still maybe about 45 degrees uh, relative to the target line. We look at PGA Tour players, most really good ball strikers, will see that their shoulders are turned fully when their left arm's about parallel to the ground. So they'll actually have their back facing the target by the time their left arm's parallel to the ground. And their arms will raise slightly and they'll get to the top of their backswing. But most tour players, especially with an iron, don't get past parallel. And so back to the square to square swing, how that kind of keeps us in that ideal position with just turning our body, not having that over rotation of the club face and over hinging of the wrist. We're getting set up, we're bracing, turning back, and when we get to the top of our backswing, our, our goal is to just make a full shoulder turn. And what we'll see is that the club definitely won't get to parallel uh, with most players, unless you have that Dustin Johnson kind of bowed left wrist, that kind of extreme left wrist condition will actually allow the shaft to get to parallel to the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit a shot here and, and give you an idea of what it looks like in my swing, which doesn't have to be the way your swing looks, but. My main concern or my main idea about my golf swing is to just preset impact, the shaft slightly forward, brace my right side, that's going to keep me centered, and then I'm just going to turn my upper body back and through. So you can see on that swing, my back swing probably didn't get much further than about right there. And that, that wasn't necessarily a full shot for me, but it was definitely a full turn, and that's really all I'm trying to achieve on every single shot. So I hope this helps give you an idea how to kind of stop over swinging by using the square to square swing. Just keeping that face a little bit more square to the arc on the back swing, eliminating that added wrist hinge will keep that club from looking like it's over swinging and will actually activate the upper body in the turn.